Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. I'm going to read for you today the Dinosaur Egg Mystery. Written by M. Christina Butler and illustrated by Val Byro. If you'd like to stay up to date on all my stories, would you be so kind as to click on that big red subscribe button? A long time ago, when the dinosaurs lived, a big white egg lay in the sand. A sea serpent saw the egg in the sand and wanted it for lunch. Don't you dare touch my egg, cried an angry Diplodocus. That egg belongs to me. When the sea serpent had gone, Diplodocus rolled the egg away from the sea and into the forest. I'll hide it under those leaves, she said. No one will know it is there. Suddenly, a huge triceratops came out of the trees. What are you doing with my egg? She roared. That egg belongs to me. That is my egg, Diplodocus cried, swishing her tail. No, it is not, Triceratops snapped. That egg belongs to me. While the two angry dinosaurs argued and fought, the egg rolled off down the hill into a cave. Deep inside in the dark and the gloom, a sleepy Stegosaurus was waking up from a nap. Goodness me, she said, seeing the egg at her toes. I've laid a beautiful big white egg. Stegosaurus ran into the forest and found the two angry dinosaurs still arguing. I've laid an egg, she told them. A big white egg, they both cried together. But that big white egg is mine. The three dinosaurs raced back to the cave. But when they looked inside, they saw that the big white egg had hatched. Then Triceratops saw footprints in the sand. So Diplodocus, Triceratops and Stegosaurus followed the footprints as fast as they could. And soon they came to the river. They saw lots of dinosaurs, but not one was a baby just out of an egg. They followed the footprints down to the sea, and there they found the baby playing in the sand. And that's not all. They found his mum as well, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the fiercest of them all. The end. So children, be careful when you find an egg outside. You never know what might be inside. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. And kids, always remember to be good and kind. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.